Hi, I just found out I've got a problem. And my problem is that through the teaching of my class, I have these quizzes that I give while I'm instructing, and I'm trying to make my end of chapter test. The problem that I have is, if I made the questions inside the quiz, um, as opposed to putting them in the chapter category, I can't see them in the chapter test. So I'm here trying to go add from the question bank, and it doesn't see all of my questions. It doesn't see the ones I'm looking for because they're in 3.7 as opposed to being in the chapter category where I want them to be. I want them to be here in chapter 3 with all my other questions, but they're not. So how do I get items they accidentally put in an activity themselves, quiz questions, out? And that's what this video is to show you how to do. First of all, you have to be in the quiz that has the questions that you need. In my quiz, questions are in chapter 3.7, general power problems. I've got five questions that I made here that I forgot to put in the right category. So I'm going to be, I start in here and I slide down until I see the question bank in the administration side on the left hand side. So I'm going to hit question bank and I'm going to go to export. When I go to export, um, I pick the Moodle format because I'm in Moodle. And then I pick the category I want to export. Now, up here I can see quiz 3.7 and I've got five questions in there and those questions I want down here I'm gonna move them into a place called new questions so I go there and I uncheck to write the category because I don't want it to go to any category I want it to go to where I want to put it so I have selected where the quiz questions are and I'm gonna hit export to file and it's gonna pop up and it's gonna export those questions then I'm going to go anywhere else. In fact, I could do it right here while I'm here. Um, I'm going to now import exactly what I just exported. I'm going to say it's a Moodle thing. And now I'm going to open this general section. And instead of putting it here in the default for power problems, I'm going to move it down here to chapter three, new questions. I'm again going to uncheck that because I don't want it to make its own category. I've already made a category for it. And it says match grades error. Nope, I just want to say nearest grade counts. Stop on an error. No, I want it to continue. And now I'm going to take this file and I can right click here and say show in folder and it'll pop open for me. And I'm going to take that file and I'm going to drag it right there. And then I'm going to say import. And now it's going to import these five questions into my question bank. I can say continue there. And now it's putting it in these, this new question category. Um, so now when I go over to my chapter test, if I went to add questions here from the question bank now that I've made throughout the uh, progress of chapter three, I can go to new questions and I can see those questions that I couldn't see before and I can grab those all at one time and add them to my new test so that I can move things from quizzes if I didn't put them in the right category in the first place to the whole chapter at one time making them accessible. Now while I'm here I'm going to say something about your question bank. Um, when I go to the question bank these are all the questions for the whole course. I have a ton. Um, if I was to show them all, there would be pages and pages of questions. Oh, I'd have to show the ones uh, in subcategories to show the pages and pages of questions. If I didn't have categories set up, it would be a mess to try to look through all these questions to decide what I wanted to put into um, a particular test, which is why we have categories. So whenever you are starting a new chapter, or you could do it after you've had all your questions, you might want to go to categories, go down to the bottom, and create categories. And I've already done that. So inside of my hardware class, I could create a new category called chapter 11. If I was just about ready to start chapter 11 and say add category, 
Now that chapter 11 is one of the options here, it's gonna be at the bottom of my list, um, where when I add new questions, I can add them to chapter 11 and anything inside all of these things that are embedded under course category, I can see anywhere else in the course. So when I wait, make my semester exam, when I make a chapter test, but if I've got them up under the activity, which is what this is up here, um, then I won't be able to see it anywhere except for this particular item. So hopefully that helps you avoid the problem that I created myself uh, and shows you how to move them out of an activity into your whole course section.